Hey guys, welcome to Two Dudes One Couch. I think there's a dump truck outside. Yeah, it sounds real good. They better begin my trash, dude. I parked right in front of your dumpsters. Oh no! <laughs> I, uh, I hope that doesn't affect anything. They might be pissed. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know why they didn't pick it up, Cat. I have no idea. Dude, it's gonna be in the episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I can't Should trust, I go check? I can't wa I trust her to watch my episodes. Yeah, dude, I'll play. Okay, yeah, you run you, out and check. You hold down the fort. If you have to park, park in the driveway. Okay. So, guys, it's a uh, one dude, one couch right now. Corey just got fired because he parked in front of my trash can, and we just heard the dump truck outside. And uh, good call, good call on Corey's part. I uh, really shouldn't have fired him for that, but he's going to move his car. He's going to finish out his day here, and then he's freaking kaput. So, uh, what have you guys been up to? Uh, we did an update video not too long ago. Give you a little update on us. Um, talking by yourself is, uh, is is hard. So you guys just let me know. Let me know about your lives. Let me let me know your shoe size. Uh, let me know your your pant size. I wear a size 36, but generally. Uh, they're pretty stretchy pants. I like uh, my pants to be very tight fitting, but also very stretchy. So it feels like I don't have anything on my legs, except for the restricting of my wiener. Um, that is probably not too much information. I just wanted you guys to know how I wore my pants. It's pretty good stuff. How'd it go out there, dude? <laughs> uh, not good, dude. Uh, were they already gone? Yes. Oh, shoot. They were already down the road. Which side? Uh, they had two trucks. One going up and one going down. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> Big whoops. <laughs> <laughs> but but don't worry, dude. If you uh, uh, bring out uh your truck and put the trash in there. Uh. There's some free dumps on the weekend. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm trying to think of a good solution here. Uh, we'll just deal. I think that's I think that's the solution, dude. We're just gonna have to deal. <laughs> Dude, I had no idea. That <laughs> I think they run two times a week. I hope. <laughs> I got. Uh, I just uh, this time next week. I, uh, I could recommend that you just park in the driveway, dude. Ain't no biggie. Dude, I just never know where to park, man. Just, just park in the driveway. Pull her all the way up, dude. Pull her all the way up. I will do that. And uh, no harm, no foul. I'm just gonna say I don't know why I'm in Masonic Cam. Is it a holiday? <laughs> is it a government holiday? <laughs> but God, the, uh, the, the problem, goddamn government giving out too many holidays. The problem is that everybody else's trash was picked up. <laughs> 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 that story won't check out. Okay, we'll be like, there must have been something in our trash they didn't want to take. She's never going to believe this. <laughs> no, not at all. The good news is she's not going to watch this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. Well, now she's going to hate my guts, if she does, dude. If she does and she comes to me... Saying that she watched this video, I will give her five dollars. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. You know we record uh pretty often on Thursdays. Yep. Generally and recordings are on Thursdays. Yeah. And I've never uh, I've always parked there. Never. Uh, yeah. I guess I never thought about it before. I wonder if they normally well, run we, earlier. Okay. So we just recently started putting our trash cans there. By the, so normally they were in front of the in the driveway. But we're like, oh, it's more convenient just to leave them on the, the kind of near the sidewalk here. So that's probably why, dude. Oh, okay. So we threw you off, dude. Now it's now it's our fault. No, dude, it's my bad. <laughs> we got... I hear him out there, dude. Should I rush back out again just, just to double check? Flag him down. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go check. All right. I'll be back. Talk well, about your pants and penis yeah, again. I, Is that... yeah, yeah, I was talking about my penis. but uh... So... Corey's leaving again, checking on the dump. This is the strangest episode I think we've done to date. Uh, happening in this great Ninja Turtles game. Um, what to say, what to say. Maybe I'll sing you a song. This is a song that never ends. Keeps going on and on, my friend. Some people started singing and not knowing what it was and they'll continue singing it on and on and on just because this is a song that never ends. I know that one. That one's Lamb Chops. I watched that when I was little. Um, what's another good song? You know what? I had a thought the other day. So with all this 
horrible stuff about Bill Cosby a couple years ago. I remember that he had a show called Little Bill. Does anybody else remember Little Bill? And is it okay to still let your children watch Little Bill? <laughs> so uh, if you guys can answer that question for me in the comments, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> How's it looking out there, dude? It's not good. Uh, did, did not happen. They're the uh, guys that pick up trash. Um, I, what I've learned is they're the most heartless people in the world. <laughs> Did you try, just try like, flagging them down, dude? Sir, please! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they uh, kept turning, but I guess we'll keep an ear out. Maybe he saw me and is uh, maybe having to turn around up the road. <laughs> so, God damn it. <laughs> dude, I sang a song, man. I had some good conversation going on. Dude, I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we all knew that one dude, one couch would happen one of these days. But this shouldn't have been the circumstance. What is that thing? <laughs> uh, uh, that's a good question. I don't know what I've missed. Hey, you can ride it. Oh, sick. Take the weapon to a portal. Alright, where's the portal? Okay, here we go. You are on track. Nice! Well, dude, if, uh, if it's any um, solace, I'm pretty good at spatial reasoning. I'm probably, uh, <laughs> uh, I could probably Tetris your trash can before I go. It's, it's okay, dude. I don't want you touching that trash, man. Dude, I'm just I'm trying good, to think of dude. a solution, dude. It's, it's all good, dude. Ain't no biggie. You think I'm sweating over a couple of full cans of trash? Yeah, that dude. That desperately needed to go to the dump? You think I'm sweating over that? <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm a, I don't like being a problem. <laughs> I try to, you know, stay in the background as much as possible. But I've become a problem. <laughs> Dude, you did it for the people, man. You did that for me, and I'm the people today. <laughs> Doing it for the people. You tried your best. And we have, we have audio and, uh, well, I guess the video evidence is going to be on here. So we have audio evidence of you trying it for the people. Dude, not only that, but uh, <clears throat> sometimes you try your best and you don't succeed. Yep. That's what Coldplay said. <laughs> and uh, isn't there a Radiohead song where they say something about trying your best? Uh, they say the best you can is good enough. Yeah, the best you can is good enough, dude. So we Freaking have two different it. we have two different uh, British bands telling me two different things about it. Well, um, which one do you like more? I believe Radiohead more. Okay, that's um, the one. You did your best. And it's good but enough. it wasn't good enough this time. And uh <laughs> Dude, there's some toxic drip up there, dude. dude oh man, I'm in the toxic drip, dude. Get out of there, man. I got that, that freaking Krang skeet on me, dude. Oh god. Dude. <laughs> Krang skeet. What is that? It's the ooze from TC uh T C R I. Oh, okay. I was thinking that you know, he doesn't where does that come out of? Yeah. It's your skeet, dude. You know, like on your cerebellum, you got that little little cable thingy that hangs down. I don't remember what that thing's called anymore. The spinal, uh, spinal antebellum. Spinal, <laughs> spinal, spinal, spinal tap. <laughs> spinal lady antebellum. I don't know. Um, that thing, dude, just they crank skeet skeet right on down there, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, go to the bottom floor of the sewer. Yeah, I'm working on it. It's Tell me how I'm alive all the damn time, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, how is there a bottom floor to well, the I sewer? I gotta avoid the skeet right now. How much lower does the sewer go? <laughs> I've went, been down a good few floors here. <laughs> I guess I have to fight these guys, don't I? If only we had a local sewer that I could dump that trash into. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you remember, do you remember, uh, I don't know, it's probably six years, seven years ago now, but we went, Stone Cats, so we went on the Black Friday stuff, and we were way past Delirious, dude, and we found that freaking- Skeet shooter? Yeah, the little skeet shooter <laughs> gun, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. And one of the tags on the box was, you can shoot skeet like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we were in tears laughing about the yeah, skeet shooter. I was freaking crying, man. Which, if, if you don't know, the you know, there's the rap skeet. Yeah. Uh, but there's also skeet. There's also like a sport skeet shooting. Like you're throwing up disc or whatever. Yeah, which I it. think is, you know, you should call slate shooting, but whatever. Yeah. Skeet shooting is fine. 
Yeah, but you I mean, can shoot skeet just like your dad if you bought that toy. <laughs> dude, we were, you know, you can daddy size the skeet. Yeah. That's pretty much daddy what they were telling skeet, me. Dude. Yeah. We all came from daddy size skeet. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, my favorite joke, uh, knock knock. Who's there? Mackin. Mackin new. Mackin sandwich. <laughs> Mackin sandwich, dude. <laughs> that's the joke. That's a freaking good one, man. Uh, tell all your friends, uh, that's a good one. It's a good party, uh, break the ice. I was telling Cat about that the other day, too, that I was thinking about writing a book. I've been thinking about it for years. Knock oh, knock, yeah. I'm dead. Knock knock, I'm dead. We have another, yeah. uh, knock knock. Who's there? Ma. Ma who? <laughs> Ma. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, who's one of my favorites, dude, from from our, our round of jokes. Knock knock. Uh, who's there? Captain. Captain who? Captain Planet. <laughs> it's Captain Planet. Or uh, how about this? Uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> knock knock. Not who's there? Captain. Captain who? <laughs> Captain Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, knock knock. Uh, who's there? Chicken. Chicken who? Chicken sandwich. <laughs> Chicken sandwich. You get the mac and so, sandwich. I think, you know, I think I could probably write, you know, like a good 100, 150 jokes to make a book. <laughs> I mean, you could, the, we're going knock through knock every jokes. damn food item in the, yeah. Like, uh, and, um, beef, <laughs> beef food. You just, beef you, sandwich. Tag the, you tag the book as it's not jokes that are particularly funny to the people you're telling them to, but the face they make after you tell them that joke. That is the joke. That's the joke. You get to laugh at them for telling them a joke. Yeah. How good is that? You can tell a joke that's meant to make you I think laugh. I, could, I think I can make money, dude. I think I can make millions. Dude, let's start a Kickstarter. Let's see if we can get some people yeah, behind man. it. If anybody wants to support Knock Them knock Dead, let us know. I might be able to make that a reality. I've been thinking about it, dude. I can come up with a few jokes myself. I'll help out. That uh, Captain Crunch joke? Right off the dome. <laughs> 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 that that was no rehearsal, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, God dang it, dude. Are we going to the right place? Oh, I think we are. I think, yeah. So Black Friday is my favorite time of year. Dude, they've made it way lamer lately, though. It is pretty lame now, because uh, you can do it a day early, and it's yeah. all online. And yeah, and it's, you know, like, oh, you go into the store early. No, you're supposed to go in at the crack of midnight. <laughs> yeah. Or 2 a.m. Whenever they decide Black Friday starts. Well, and you know, Toys R Us closed down, and that was where we found the skeet shooter. Yeah, I should have bought it yeah, before really they closed. Have, dude. Yeah. I should have bought one of those little bitty tiny race cars that I really like. So I was, uh, Toys R, uh, Toys R Us closed down, I don't know, like a month ago now, maybe? Yeah. Somewhere in that time frame. But I got a, uh, I got a, um, so my phone, ha I have my GPS on my phone all the time. Mm -hmm. So they'll send me, like, tell us what you think about this business. So I was driving by that area and they're like, tell us what customers should expect going to Toys R Us. And I was like, I should really write a view that says, uh, don't expect much. <laughs> yeah. And it's not here anymore. Uh, they can expect two doors that are permanently locked. Uh, and then I cried. Because that's a, Did you cry? I'm a Toys R Us kid. Actually, I wasn't a Toys R Us kid. We Toys were, uh, R Us was, so, you know, a lot of people were really upset and I get it. I get very attached to stuff. Kind of like that. Yeah. Um, but Toys R Us, especially towards the end. Oh my god, dude, I got like these little skeet leeches on me. <laughs> um, dude, they, their prices were insane. Yeah, too expensive. Much too expensive. In fact, when they were on sale, uh, they had that whatever percentage off. It still felt like I was getting ripped off. I was like, man. And that's a prime reason probably why they went out of business. You can't compete with what the internet's putting down. It's hard to. Yeah. Well, dude, they had prices that were like, uh, dude, they were just insane. Um, Pokemon cards, a pack of Pokemon cards here in Texas. We sold them at the shop that I worked at. We sold them. New packs came out and they were uh, like three fifty nine a pack. Yeah. Hold on. Do you have forty four seconds to take this dude out? Okay. So. Let me see if I got some. Oh, dude, got it. Turtle time. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. To dash. Is he almost dead? Oh, nice. nice. We got him. Okay, cool. Ooh, a C. That's okay. C for Camp Crunch. <laughs> Captain Planet. But Pokemon cards are about three fifty nine new new pack. Okay, Toys R Us sold a pack of Pokemon cards for like six bucks. Oh yeah. Who pays six bucks for a pack? Magic: The Gathering was awful too, dude. Like, like this is a 
freaking rip. We sold the fat packs of magic cards for 40 bucks. There's 60 at Toys R Us. Like, oh, dude. Come on. Yeah, not even trying. Yeah. <laughs> No wonder you're going on a business because you're just hoping that some some kid will grab something and their parents will just feel really bad and buy it for them. That's how you're making money, and that just doesn't happen anymore. No, they say, well, give me one second. We tell them kids no. Hmm. No, well, then you, you Google it. Yeah, you, you get and it on, you, you, you get say, on a little Googler. Oh, let me check my Walmart.com app real quick before mm-hmm. I buy this here. Yep. Or eBay or Amazon, anything. And then you tell your kid, oh, uh, we'll go pick it up at Walmart. They, or, they can look at it like, you know what, if my kid likes Pokemon cards, Let's go on to eBay, and I can buy a whole booster box of the brand new set for 80 bucks, and boom. I got chores for, like, five or six weeks straight. Oh, There's yeah. There's 36 packs in a, in a booster, like a booster box. So you rush on the, you know, a couple packs here and there. That's, you know, like... Like you do all your chores. Uh, if there's 36 for today. packs, that's almost the whole year. <laughs> You're getting one yeah. pack every week, if even. Yeah. <laughs> Those you, chores better be immaculate. <laughs> and you get your pack of cards. It's a perfect idea. And that's, you know, or or you could be at Toys R Us and you could buy, um, what, 12 packs? 13 packs? Something like that? Yeah. I'm not mathing that hard, but. <laughs> For the same price. Yeah. Insane. Insane. Poor, poor Toys R Us, but. They made poor decisions and they had a poor fate. I was a grocery store kid, so <laughs> didn't make a difference yeah. to me. <laughs> I was, you know, go up to the movie store, rent a video game, kid. If we were going shopping and there was a, you know, you know, a few bucks for a Our toy. Our parents like to leave us behind. The moment that I was, they decided that I was old enough to stay at home by myself, I was staying at home by myself. Oh, yeah. The moment I was old enough to take care of my brothers, they were staying with me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey guys, in the comments below, were you a Toys R Us kid? Yeah. Uh, Sorry if we, you know, like, it's sad. It, it is sad to see an icon go. But yeah. Let good know. riddance. Get the hell out of here, yeah. Toys R Us. Yeah. Fix your shit next time. Internet if you have shopping. another opportunity. If you have another opportunity, fix it next time. Uh, but uh, hey guys, check out our subscription bill and all the links down there. And uh, we have an Instagram. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, daddy size it for us. Yeah, daddy size that Instagram page. We're looking to blow up. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much. Game, Game over. over. Thank you.